Hey, Tiff. Hey, Sally Ann. Yeah, such a loving chat. It's almost like we throw that word out. Love you way too much, you know? Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love it. Speaking of love, we've got some more I love yous to uh, spread around and show. Uh, morning, Sarah. Morning, Melanie. Uh, morning, Jen Jen. Good morning, everyone. Um, uh, thanks, Michelle. Oh, now here she goes turning into the devil that she is, the demon Tiffany. Drinking out of my uh, green coffee mug today, so... It's blending in. Whoa, today it's actually kind of shining. That's weird. Hmm. Anyways, folks, we're going to start off with a little warm up, okay? Now, as people are coming in, I would like for you to guess what I am doing because this has much to do with the topic at hand today. I have something to respond to that uh, a couple of people showed me yesterday uh and it also involves a little bit of armchair detective okay we're gonna go back in time but before we do i would like for you to put your thinking caps on and tell me what i am doing babysitter hey mia Twins. Sleeping. No, no tiff. Stepdad. Curious. Feet. Anybody know based on those words? You're a banshee. I don't even know what the fuck a banshee is. Robot? No. Um, pretty woman. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, what's that? Heartbreakers. You're a, hor you're, you're a horrible guesser. Maybe I'm just horrible because I'm not caffeinated yet. Keep those words in mind while you grab some caffeine or whatever it is for you to really dive and oh, and actually, hold on, my husband, I have to show this before we get started. My husband shared this meme this morning on his Facebook. Hold on. Here she comes just a walking down the street singing do wah diddy diddy dum. Oh wait, hold on, let me. Sorry, Tiff, I gotta get that off there. Dumb diddy do. <laughs> Isn't that clever? Oh, wow. That's good. Okay, anyways, folks, gather around. Keep thinking. Keep those thinking caps on. Keep on thinking. Huh? No, no, no chance. No, no. Perfuma Addict, I love you, by the way. Uh-oh, there's some more love. Uh-oh. So if anybody wasn't doesn't know what I was doing there, let me throw a few more in there. Uh, water sports. Cum shots. Um, toys. Uh, Perfume Addict, can I give you a wrench? You come over from Nikki Revs, and you have a cute channel, too, and you're cute. You love the new intro? Thank you, Sally Ann. I love your intro. How about? Wink, wink. 
Anybody know what those are titles of or topics, possibly? Anyone? Tiff, is that your phone died? I had to switch. Oh, okay, hold on. One moment, please. Okay. Okay. Tiff, tiff, all day. <sighs> oh, Michelle K. Wow. Pranogriofa. They are not titles. They're like genres of adult themed videos. Now, first off, I'm going to start off by this. I don't know if you guys remember. God, it was a long time ago now. Actually, I could tell you exactly when. Give me a minute. Yeah, I got the receipts. I got the receipts. So let, let's just go back in time to yesterday. So and Dog TV, who will from now uh, on be referred to as Lapdog TV, thanks to uh, I got that over, I think, from Amber's channel. I'm speaking your language. Ooh, I'm like. So he got mad because I blocked him from my channel. Very triggered. But see, he's Ariana, if you know who Ariana is. I don't know their relationship, but he does whatever she does. So yesterday, he was saying stuff like, uh, you know, I, I didn't uh, say that I defend AJ. Uh, and you're making people choose sides or whatever. He That's the feeling he's getting. I don't care if any of you people talk to AJ, but listen. I'm going to correct you real quick, and dog. Lap dog. He says, hey, cutie pie. Hey, Popeye. He says, by me saying I have, well, hold on. Let, let's go back. He did a live stream about a month ago. And in this live stream, he says, I don't want to get involved with AJ and Robbie's situation. But let me get involved in AJ and Robbie's situation. And he continues to say, uh, you know, I have her back. I got her back on, you know, and then he clarified it yesterday because I was like, oh, yeah, no, that cost me $5,000 and a lot of stress. So now. So he clarifies yesterday. He's like, stupid, oh, stupid. He's feeling better. Candy kisses. Thank you. He says, I was talking about AJ. I don't believe she created an account to go after her son. That has nothing to do with your court case. Well, and dog, you should really do your research before you open your fucking mouth. Do you know what that court case was about, dummy? I had originally went to the police because AJ trolls herself, okay? And she created, nobody knew what her son's channel was. She went after her son's channel, put my name in it, said, love your friendly YouTuber, save Robbie. Lied on court documents, said I was going to her house, and everybody knows the fucking story. Everybody knows the fucking story. She lied. Basically, when she found out my lawyer was real and she did reach out to him and contact him, she dropped it because that could all be traced back to not me. I was willing to give my devices and everything. It would have been traced back to her, and I would have pressed full charges. Okay, so as everything to do with the court case to start off with. You understand? Don't roll a blunt before you open your fucking mouth again, because you need to listen. Okay. <laughs> Morning, Caterpillar. Hope you're doing good, Caterpillar. So, uh, give me a second here. So, let's go back in time. And we're going to get into the armchair part because I have witnessed uh, our uh, and dog flip. And if you notice his attitude changes in each community he goes to, but he will only go on panels if they have a lot of viewers. I've noticed this because he used to love bomb me. Okay. And that's just how it is. So let me just show this real quick. So you know how like, I, I'm, listen, I'm a social butterfly. I like to talk to people. 
I'm the sign of communication. I like getting along with people, all that shit. I like peas. And if I tell you I love you, I, I love you. Now, there's different levels of love, so don't think we're going to have penetration or anything, okay? Yes, he's the guy that did the Watts case, uh, Jen Jen. But yesterday, and dog was like, I mean, clearly just by mentioning, well, responding to him, barely, this triggered him into like a fucking raging, blunt, rolling fucking rage stream yesterday. And he's like, at least I don't go around being fake. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you to everyone. Why say it? Because I mean it when I love someone. Are you mad? Because I never said it back to you and dog. Huh? Let's take a look. What the hell's that? <laughs> oh, wow. Hold on. I'll, I'll read. Hold on. Let me read this comment from Tiff. I tried to give AJ a chance against my better ju judgment. Yeah, no, I'm a civil free zone. She's a psycho. She even accused me of going at her kid. She, that's her go to. And hey, something to talk about. So this was my infamous night, and, and we'll go even further back in time, to, And I'll tell you how I met good old lap dog. Sends me a message the night that I raged, my infamous night. He says, Robbie, I know at this point you're probably getting hundreds of messages. I hope uh, you get to read this. You don't need to respond. This is just a reminder, not for me, but from God. Christ is always with you and will never leave your side. These tests will continue, so keep moving forward, for you are a child of God. I love you! Notice I didn't fucking say it back to you, because I wouldn't have meant it. I said, you made my night, I'm drunk, so we're good. They win almost a year, yay. <gasps> Look at what, what a fucking hypocrite, huh? Don't throw those words around if you don't mean a man, dog. Jesus. I love you. I love you. AJ seems frustrated. Maybe she needs Andog uh, to clap the cheeks. Listen, <clears throat> Andog knows how crazy AJ is. He knows that she's Krama Vault. He knows he did a whole stream during my wedding. It was crazy that she was there. How crazy, how like crazy psycho she is. But now it's just all great. Now, listen, people all the time say, oh, Robbie's about peace. He's about peace. Well, why doesn't he make peace with this person? Do you understand how many times that I've made peace with AJ and she's fucked it up? Now, I noticed Devil Mike, you know, he bounces around and makes comments. And he made an interesting comment. He said, you know, I noticed they did have some sort of peace thing. But then AJ was mentioned multiple times and she was, she had gone away. She wasn't even talking about them. What you guys have to realize about that. And somebody else said, and why do people care who Kramavalt is anyways? What you have to realize is AJ trolls herself to, to try to get people to feel bad for her. But she also trolls people under Kramavalt. Goes after them. Goes after Amber's parenting. Goes after people's addictions. And the reason she says she gave that channel away is so she could get away with it and just look like, I'm over here all innocent. No, 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 no. You're not. That's why it matters. It also matters because this is a person that trolls people and then lies on court documents and costs people anxiety, time, and money. Hey, psycho cunt. Hey, Julie Bear. Glad to hear Michael is feeling better today listening while I'm working. Aw. Hey, Angela. Love you. Um, so yeah, so there's that's why it matters. And I mean, I guess you're just gonna have to experience it for yourself. Good luck with that. Every single time you made peace with her two days later, she blows it. Yeah, and she even did it under her AJ account, but yes, and then she'll keep going on Chroma Vault. And most of the time I don't respond. It takes a little while. You know, when you uh, start being called a, a predator and all that kind of stuff, yeah, you're going to respond to that kind of stuff. Um, so anyways, let's go back in time. How did I meet Andog? Well, Andog would always be up on Armchair Detectives panel a lot of the time. 
but you never know he's there. He just wanted his little name up there on the screen. So people saw his channel and armchairs moderators, or they call them spanners. were really good about, you know, dropping people's links if you're on panel. And, and I pretty sure that's why he did it. Cause he never had anything to add to the conversation. Very polite, different demeanor. And I'm going to say this before I continue. And dog, you will notice he only goes to people. If you're getting bigger view, you know, he says, you see Robbie in every single person's chat, love bombing people. Well, if you see me in every person's chat, that means you must be in those chats too to see me. Second of all, I'm also a chatter and I get along with a lot of fucking people. A lot of people I've made peas with. Notice how I don't really call in. I don't like to do panels, really. Going on other people's panels unless I have something to say and then drop off. I don't just sit there monotone and respond like you do every five hours. And people just forget you're there and there's no point for you being there except to advertise your monotone channel. Okay. Um. Yeah, I was hoping so, too, that the, the AJ piece thing would work out, but she just can't help herself. And that's, I mean, I, listen, I'll, I'll forgive and get along with anyone. That's somebody who literally fucking tried to lie legally on me. Okay, if I'm willing to forgive that, I'm willing to forgive anyone. Anybody. Including Lapdog. So anyways. Uh, so I meet and Dog kind of there not really so one day i go i notice i'm like oh this guy i guess i'm uh subscribed to him and he was live hey excuse me al and i went in there and and you know and dogs lives they're just very like Duh. it was very just blah uh not many i mean there wasn't really much chat chatter going on and i just went and i said hi or something now, this is not to be cocky, okay? But this, I'm sure this happens to a lot, a lot of you who maybe people know who you are. And, and I just didn't, I didn't know he really knew who I was. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel like a celebrity's in the room. Save Robbie. Oh my God. I love your chat. Oh my God. This is like a celebrity being in here, literally, along the lines of those words, treating me like I'm in sync or something. And I was like, Oh, wow. Thank you. You know, that feels good. And like freaking out. Oh my God, it's like a celebrity. Oh my God. And pretty much every time I went in there, he was like that. So over time, you know, he, we coexist or whatever. He comes to my channel, I go to his armchairs. And over time, on October 9th of 2020, this is the first message I ever get from Andog. He says, hey, Robbie, it's blank. I'm not going to say his actual name. <clears throat> I mean, anyways. Hey, Robbie, it's blank. I just wanted to tell you to avoid AD, which is armchair detective, uh, and take down any videos you have of him. <clears throat> Um, so I immediately called him just on, I'm like, what? I don't remember the phone call. I really don't. Oh, uh, thank you. Perfume. <gasps> hey, shit show. Hey, Kelly. I don't remember the call. Hey, Tara with Trisha. I don't remember the phone call, but it was basically like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and who the fuck are you to tell me to take down armchair detective stuff? I always looked at Armchair Detective as like a YouTube grandfather. He, you know, and he just, I loved being around his channel. I loved hanging out in the, in the island thing we did and stuff. And uh, kind of caught me off guard. So, then, you know, he tells me and I come on YouTube and I see what's going on. And anybody remember the big controversy versy with arm, good old Armchair, which I love Armchair. He's never done anything to me. I always thought he was great. We we definitely disagree on the Watts case, but other than that, you know, I've always been open about conversation. 
<laughs> Sally Ann, I'm trying to get over my cold still, and you just, it hurts to laugh. <coughs> uh, is that better? How's that for you? She wants me to zip it up. Did you go on armchairs panel? Um, well, Mexi and I would go, like, we went to Survey 319 with armchair. We did a lot of Watts kind of stuff. Okay, which controversy? Well, I'm about to tell you. Hey, glitter and gloss. So one day, uh, one day, it's, I don't remember who put it out. I don't know who it, who caught this, but armchair was doing a live. And you know how you like share the screen and whatever. Well, I guess it showed in like a backup window. His Google search. And I guess the Google search history popped up when he was Google searching something. Hold on, I'm going to vape. Anyone remember that? <laughs> oh, my God. If you get the flu this year, it's hell, by the way. You taking notes? Oh, you're going to... You're going to want him for this because this is about to get kind of controversial for a minute. <clears throat> yeah, his island thing was relaxing and fun. Cheers, a perfume addict. I'm vaping pistachio flavor. Oh, Psycho Cunt remembers. All right, so armchair detective in his search history. I don't remember the exact words. I remember two of them, though was mother, daughter, and it was, you know, context for, like, videos for looking up, like, adult videos, okay? So in the beginning of this, I was naming off different genres of adult categories online on legal websites, okay? 18 and up. See, yeah, and Melanie puts a puke face. The reason I said that is because, and somebody I was, that had actually kind of drew my attention to Andog's stream yesterday, somebody was saying, you know, if you look up that kind of stuff, it could be anything. It doesn't, because the controversy was that armchair, like that was disgusting and he's the P word and all this stuff. And it's like, I mean, that literally could have been any, he didn't say an age. He didn't say anything. Um, on, if you go to any, I'm not telling you and promoting adult websites. If you go to any of these, they're all legal websites, okay? I don't think you're going to get anything illegal from a Google search, and you're stupid if you're going to do that, okay? I've never tried to Google that kind of stuff and never want to or am going to. The, you know, illegal, disgusting shit. But if you just type that in and you're looking up for a genre of adult themed shit that you like to watch, you do realize that those are actors, right? You do realize in like, uh, they have like stepdaddy adult. That's not their actual, that they're acting. You realize like the Wizard of Oz themed adult films, they're acting. That's not really Dorothy getting nailed by the fucking Scarecrow, Lion, and Tin Man at the same time. Okay? You do realize that the the adult film where the the stepdad is sleeping in the middle of the bed and you have the mom asleep and the uh, stepdaughter walks in and her and the stepdad start going at it and then the mom wakes up and they all do it together. You do realize that's just fucking acting. Or the theme where the robber breaks into the home and they start doing it together. You realize that's not a real robber, right? You realize that these are websites where actors are doing it and it's for 18 and plus and they're all legal. Right? Bored Housewife and Pool Boy. There's another one. Anybody got some other themes? You're ruining my whole life by telling me these are actors. Hey, Sam Hill. Next door neighbor, best friends, milkman. Where the fuck do you think the term daddy came from? I mean, Jesus. But see, if people wanted to target somebody, they would. So let's get back to Andog's text. So he tells me this, and then I see this. And at the time, I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going away from armchair because of this. Two girls in a cup. There you go, Cece. 
Oh, I get it. Something to talk about. Teacher. Oh, thank you. Excuse me. Oh, there's a good one. I mean, it could be good, I guess. I mean, depending on the actors. There you go. Two girls in a cup. No shit. Lots of shit, actually. I've seen that. So let me just say, say this right now. Which, by the way, all the shit that I have seen is legal because it's on like, you know, I'm not going to say the websites to advertise them on YouTube, but you know, they're all fucking legal websites and very popular ones. Hub, you know what I'm talking about. So imagine if your fucking search history of what type of prawn films you like to watch was exposed behind. Now, see, I'm not like Andog. I don't run away to protect my channel, which, by the way, I could go through all these texts, but I just wanted to point out the important ones. But he continued to text me saying, you know, they're coming after my channel and blah, blah, blah. And who's Rose? Roses are red. I've seen her. For some reason, he was saying she was trying to take down his channel. I don't know if she came from armchair or whatever. But basically, he was messaging me saying, get away from armchair because of this. Because it's going to make me look bad. Fuck you. And dog, I don't go with the flow. I don't go with Ariana. I think for myself. And he's, I'm going to pause there because and dog says, you know, he goes into people's chats and love bombs them. So they subscribe to his channel. Dude, if I wanted people to fucking subscribe to my channel I and be like, oh my God, subscribe to me. I'd be doing what you do and panel hopping and just fucking sitting there. I'd be using people, uh, all these tragedies to have people fucking subscribe and I'd be covering them and they're popular. And let me tell you something. I definitely go against the grain with a lot of shit and it doesn't change my opinions. A lot of people disagree with what I have to say on here, but I'm not changing my opinion to please anybody. And you're free to leave at any fucking given moment. And I don't care. You do. Because in these texts... That was, oh my God, you're leaving a guy who advertised your channel, helped your channel grow. But here's the reason Andog did it. The majority of Andog's chat, which it was a tiny little group of women from Armchair that would watch him. They, a lot of these women were leaving Armchair at the time. So if Andog didn't leave with them, it would have looked bad and he would have lost them coming to his channel. End of story. End of story. Me? I see controversy and I'm like, okay, yeah. So he was looking at a certain type of, of adult content. Who cares? It's not illegal. Go look at, go to these websites yourself and go look at the fucking categories. It's not illegal. Um, it, well, it, Psycho Cunt says, Alan said it was in the name of research, which made it so fucking funny to me. And you know what? It, Maybe he was just embarrassed. I mean, come on. If any of our search history for porn was brought up, I mean, shit. A lot of you would probably be embarrassed. I mean, shit. I like jock straps, shoes, socks. I mean, all sorts of shit. If it was just in the background, that'd be a little bit like, oh, Jesus, now I have to explain and blah. blah. Like, shut the fuck up. So, yeah, I did not judge arm armchair detective for that and dog did he put his tail between his legs and he ran off like a little bitch because he didn't want people take down your content of armchair detective they're gonna come for you good bitch that ain't changing my opinion i'm a man what are you grow some balls Ooh, you like pov porn yeah you don't know what a jock strap is sam you know what a jock strap is as a person who's been horribly embarrassed online, I can totally relate to this response in the name of research. Yeah, I mean, of course you're going to say something like that. How are you? Because it really is an invasion of privacy that just popped up in the background. Nothing about it was illegal. You may not like his type of genre he watches, but so don't fucking watch it. It's legal to watch it. It's called role playing. All those actors do it. You have a jock strap? We have lots. <laughs> My husband looks really good in them. Real good. Okay, so I, I didn't judge him based on that. So, you know, he didn't 
convinced. I don't know why he fucking even had to message me that. I, I really didn't know and dog that good. Definitely not good enough for him to be like, love you. And dog, love you. <laughs> what the heck was he looking at? Uh, adult videos. Probably just a, you know, throw in the spank bank. Could have been really, really weird. That is fairly tame. Yeah, I mean, come on. You know how many people, like, look at how many twin women are in, like, Budweiser commercials and advertisements, you know, and, you know, men or women even, they're like, ooh, I want two twins. Well, you realize they're siblings, right? Real twins. Are you a sick fuck, too? Calm the fuck down. And let somebody get their rocks off, if it's legal. You're too old for your G-string? Not a good look? Hey, well, you know, we, we grow into different looks sometimes, but try it on, hell, or just maybe try a different one. Yeah, that was a few years ago, uh, Jen Jen. So anyways, cut to, you know, I'm, I'm doing these streams with Mexi and paranormal stuff and Andog, you know, he was trying to tag along, find a new place besides armchair. And he would. Um, sorry, I just had to pop my back. And then the stuff happened with AJ. And this was during my journey, my healing journey. And Andog knew how much they were harassing me. Matter of fact, um, he would message me about it. Let's see. When I was at my eight month mark of my recovery, February of 28th, 2021, he says, Robbie, I just wanted to let you know you're a really fucking awesome motherfucker. LOL. This message just, you know, came out, came out of nowhere. Anyways, congrats on your eight months going to go into a fucking year. You're a kind soul, and I truly believe that God has plans for you, my brother. <gasps> Enjoy your night, and know that by putting yourself out there, you're going to help someone that needs help with addiction. God bless you, and good night. Hey, DeLorean. Now, there was many love bombing shit like that. And as I showed you in the message where he's like, love you, was the night that all shit hit the fan with me. You guys know that's my infamous night on here when I went live like seven times. Fucking drank like, I don't know, probably eight beers or something and fucking raged on everyone. Guess who was on that panel with? Because there was a lot of people in that chat, those chats. And dog. Guess who was the one messaging me saying, oh, I love you. And dog. Guess who popped up around my wedding? And dog. He only pops up when there's a lot of attention towards something. You will notice that if you're a creator and he's coming around you. So he was there for me. He saw all these parody videos that AJ used to make of me making fun of being drunk and getting sober and all this shit, right? He knew AJ followed me to Vegas, all this shit. But let's stay back in time for a minute. So after that night, the I love you, I never really heard from him. I don't think really much ever again. Next thing you know, months down the road, and me and BXB's boy, we're good now, by the way. He's, you know, teaming up with him and he's starting a channel with True Helper to go after me. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? This dude is so fucking fake. What? The channel he made with True Helper, I think, made it one episode and they deleted it. I, I don't know, perfume addict, but he's, this is why you are a flip-flopper. This is why I said that, and I stand by that, lap dog. Okay, Marie21, I stand by that. And I also stand by, you know, when I, I'm, when I said, because he got really triggered, I said, I'm just going to assume you're stupid. Well, now I no longer have to assume that after listening to your stream. Because what you said was, it had nothing to do with his court case, me saying, I have AJ's back 100%, or maybe he didn't say 100. I can't, I, I listen, and thank you, Andog, for going back and finding the clip for me to listen to, because I wasn't going to go through your monotone, boring ass fucking streams myself to try to find it. 
Okay. So thank you. But you said you have her back. You don't believe she started troll accounts or whatever. And listen, it's like I said, I can't tell anybody who to talk to, who to be friends with. But when you say you have someone's back, you need to know what the fuck you're talking about, bro. Hey, Tweety. And you don't because you said it had nothing to do with the court case. That was part of the court case, you dumb fuck. Yesterday tripped you out a bit. He got a lot wrong. Oh, he got tons wrong. Tons wrong. I've never heard Andog have life in his voice until yesterday. Normally just like, hey, guys. I, uh, Jen, Jen, me and BX, we're just, you know, we coexist. We're good. We had a conversation, I don't know, months and months ago. So we're good. I, I I wouldn't want to talk bad about him anymore. So there's that. So hold on. So so then I'm like, what the fuck, dude? This and dog dude's like starting a channel. Go, what, what's his fucking problem? The next thing you know, when me and Dorothy become friends and stuff, and Ariana likes me again, then and dog follows and he likes me again. When that Ariana chick doesn't like me. He follows and he doesn't like me again. Fake. Bullshit. That's why I'm like, okay, I've seen it enough. Just block. Block. Now, he said yesterday, Robbie just wants to find someone to fight with. No, I actually just blocked you. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not dealing with that fake fuck. You're the one who brought up my situation and said, I don't want to get involved. But, and then you got involved. And you got it wrong. And I had to correct you. And you got triggered. And finally came to life yesterday. Okay. You always thought he was a little bit on the strange side. Well, he is. He's not, like I said, on armchairs, he had a completely different demeanor to him than when he'd go to like BX's or with that true helper guy or on Lycans. He's got a different way of being instead of just fucking being himself. Like I said, I'm not afraid to have a controversial opinion and say shit that I truly fucking believe and I'm not going to change my opinion to align with anyone to please them. Like you do, Andog. Whether people unsubscribe or fucking subscribe. I say nonstop. That's a fucking number. If you're relying on these numbers for, oh, my live stream numbers and this and that, it's all going to be gone one day for all of us in some way, shape, or form. So if that is what your fucking happiness is, you're looking in the wrong fucking place. He does starve for attention because he only goes, look. And then yesterday he said, you know, after what I saw with him and BX Beast Boy and all the terrible stuff he did and blah, blah, blah. Wait, that was years ago. Why did you fucking join in on my wedding stream and go at AJ for being in Vegas and do a pre, pre-save Robbie wedding stream. I know why. Any of you know why? If I was so terrible, all of a sudden I was nice again. Because my wedding got a lot of fucking attention. That's why. Why does he go to Lycans? And I'm not trying to. I'm just giving an example. Lycan, I'm not trying to get you to go at him or anything. But it's because Lycan gets attention. It's the only place you're going to see Andog. Otherwise, he says, I stay over here. Yeah, you do. Until you see opportunity knock, bitch. Uh, but Lycan says, I just want to call out some of the fake bitches in here who claim Tiffany was a hard no for them. And yet they're chumming it up with her in this chat. That's all. <laughs> okay, Lycan. You're everyone's hard no? Uh, yeah, it's all good, Lycan. Uh you are, oh, and uh, something to talk about says you're unblocked on her channel, Lycan. So hold on. And I see you texting, by the way. Hold on. Um, just make sure I went through all of these. Yeah, I think I, I pretty much said what I had to say about that. 
But I mean, it really does show uh, and dog. This wasn't even like your situation to fucking talk about. I don't get it. And when you found the fucking stream and you're like, here, I'll even timestamp. I did the work for you. Good bitch, because I ain't doing it for you. You're my bitch. You find it for me. Because your streams are boring as fuck to try to scroll through to try to find what you fucking said. So thanks for saving me the fucking misery. Hey, Siren, you little bitch. Um, uh oh, no, no, they're no, they're going to what's going on in the chat with Tiff? He's a swinger, then goes around to and goes around. And listen, people call me flip floppy. If you're nice to me and you apologize, or I apologize, that's not flip flopping, that's called being an adult. But there's a difference between completely changing your views, and I think this is what Andog is not understanding. Peace doesn't mean you support everything that everyone does, that even a friendship doesn't, and it shouldn't. The word ride or die friend, I fucking hate that. I don't like when people say that. A lot of you may say that to your friends, and that's a bullshit statement. Nobody completely agrees with everything their friends do. And if you say, you're, I'm ride or die, I'll have your back no matter what. No, if your friend's doing something wrong, you should not have their back. That's very dangerous to make a statement like that. And you know those people that say, ah, I help you bury a body. Like, it's funny to joke like that because it would probably never happen. But if it came down to it, you would not. So I don't like that statement. I don't agree with everything people do just because I've made peace with them. And that's not what I assumed you did by being peaceful with AJ. I assumed and now I know that you support her agenda, which has to do with my court case, which you failed to look into, and dog. But now you know. That's why it makes you look dumb. Because you didn't do your research. And you specifically say, if I specifically say, I have Tiff's back in this, then that means you have her back. Right? So if you say, I have uh, Tiff's back, and, and I don't believe she did this to troll herself. And then it cost somebody else $5,000 and it did involve a court case with that topic that you support. So to tell me doesn't have anything to do with his court case shows me that you're ignorant and dog and you don't look into things before A, you support them and B, fucking look into them. Oh, it's all good, pesky. It's all good. Hey, Astral. Oh, you're starting from scratch on your channels. Okay. Unblock to you. Everyone's welcome. Oh, everyone's welcome at the channel. <gasps> Ooh, pop a like. Pop a like. So that's really all I had to say about that. Uh, I don't care if people talk to people. You know, there's a lot of people in here saying, there's a lot of people in here that even talk to AJ. That's not what I care about. But if you say you support and have the back of, of something that she lied about on court documents, then yeah, I'm going to say, mm, this person's ignorant. Block. Especially when Andog has made streams about AJ making fun of her being Chromavolt and how nobody believes her lie. Hey, Iris. How he made a stream that she showed up in Vegas during our Vegas wedding trip. Now all of a sudden he has amnesia. Well, my friends, in my opinion, that is called stupidity. Okay, do you have any questions about that? Now I'll even drop a link for you, lapdog. And you can come up here and explain yourself. But don't speak on things unless you know the full facts. Maybe that's the real reason you left Armchair's community or true crime altogether. Because you're not good at looking into shit. Remember the devil has me worked up over my manager? Don't let him. Yeah, I totally get it, Iris. I get it. I'm going to vape. And hold on, because I'm going to bring something up here. Just so you could. I, I simply all I did really was just say, yeah, I'm not I'm not dealing with that. 
something cost me, well, it cost my subscribers. They donated 3000 I paid $2,000 out of my own pocket for a case that shouldn't even have been of AJ lying on court documents. <laughs> okay, Lycan. So, yeah, I, I think I, uh, well, I don't know that or not. I don't give a fuck. But let's just hear how angry he got just simply from me doing that. But, again, he does whatever this Ariana chick basically does. It's a follower. Let's go ahead and listen to this. Okay. Let's let's just hear some of the things he had to say. That I um I'm stupid. But if you misunderstand and you take a message that I say and try to turn it into something else, and then this is what he said. He tried to, but you guys are gonna see. You guys are gonna see. Yes, you are gonna see. <laughs> now fucking see. Julianne was good. And so I say this is projection. Why? You will see why. You will see why. Love you. You will see why. Love you. <laughs> Look, and I was I was keeping cool. I gave my opinion about the situation. I said I'm not right. gonna uh, that's where you fucked up. Because, I mean, everybody can have an opinion, right? But you fucked up because, and you even knew, even in the stream that you found that I went back and watched the part, the timestamp, you already knew. You're like, I don't care who this makes mad. I don't care who this offends. I have a, I don't want to get involved with Robbie and AJ, but there should have been no but. Just then don't get involved and shut your fucking mouth. But... I have AJ's back. And in the stream yesterday, he says, this had nothing to do with their court case. That's where you're ignorant. That was part of the court case. Genius. Gonna get in between Robbie and AJ? But motherfucking Robbie got a fucking, like, he, he gets something stuck up his fucking ass, spiky, something real spiky that he can't get out. No. This entire stream, he's talking like that, by the way. Sounds like something's up to his. My, what, maybe two minutes of talking about him, if that, responding to him, inserting himself, and being ignorant on the situation and not researching it. All I did was respond and say, yeah, I blocked him. And I'm going to assume you're stupid. Like I said, I no longer have to assume that. You have confirmed it. But let's listen to him rage more. So he want to fucking just fight with every motherfucker out there. So yeah, I'm calling you out. Because you bullshit it. I'm going to prove it to you with my own motherfucking clip that you said, I'll get the clip if you want. Motherfucker, why didn't you start off with the clip and then gave your fucking opinion? Oh, because you were lying. Nope. Wasn't lying because you just admitted in this live stream what you said. But what you got incorrect, and dog, is you got incorrect and said that had nothing to do with the court case when you didn't do your research and that was part of the court case. AJ's son supposedly getting trolled when that was AJ that did that herself. And if we would have continued the process, I would have requested subpoena of her devices to prove that she did it and she trolls herself. AJ was terrified of things linking back to her, so she dropped it. She thought that I was just going to show up to court without a lawyer and, you know, be weak and her get away with lying to the courts. She gets away lying on YouTube, but in a court of law, there's consequence. That's where you failed to do your research, and dog. You could scream and rage and all you want. But that just shows me you're upset that I pointed something out to you where you're incorrect. 
And instead of admitting, oh, I'm wrong, you have to rage for what God knows, what, 40 fucking minutes? Jesus Christ. Oh, because you're full of shit. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And there's some other things that he goes along the way. There's some other bullshit that he throws in there. He sprinkles some other bullshit. And I'm going to clarify those fucking bullshit for you guys. Let's fast forward. You motherfuckers are. I have him on fast forward, by the way. His voice is normally really monotone. So full of shit. It's all good, Sally Ann. Oh, this is Robbie. Oh, wait, I got to make sure you guys hear. Can you guys hear that? Jesus, do you hear that? Yes. He's so upset. He's like, <laughs> calm the fuck down, dude. Lay off the fucking joints. Perfect. Okay, here we go. People were making a joke out of that. Like, we were in high school. That hurts. Well, I believe I was like, Dana was friends with somebody. Now, remember, and dog was around. And actually, I'm going to read one more before we continue this. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Let's read another text he had sent me during the time that he witnessed. Yeah, I saw that, Sally Ann. That's fine. <clears throat> he witnessed AJ making these videos. He witnessed people attacking the fuck out of me and tormenting me, trying to get me to fall off the wagon back then and all this shit, right? So May 31st, before my big night of exploding and giving in, he sees this and he says, Rob, I just wanted you to know that it's not a coincidence, everything that is happening. This is your major test. You're almost going to complete a year of your sobriety and all this shit starts happening. Keep God in your heart like you always do and everything will be okay. I know you're a good person and you never wish nothing bad upon no one, even though they're complete assholes. Anyway, God bless you, brother. Keep your head up. This bitch kissed my fucking ass nonstop. So for him to be like, he he said terrible things or did terrible things to people. Well, you fucking knew what I was going through with these people because you witnessed it and you were trying to comfort me during that time. You knew why I snapped. The night I snapped, you even said, "Um, hold on. He said, sorry for ranting. Or wait, hold on. Uh, Robbie, wanted to let you know that you're a really fucking awesome motherfucker. LOL. Anyway, congrats. Oh, wait, that was the one I read already. Hold on. Um, who gives a shit? That doesn't mean Jack. Um, I still believe in you. This is just an obstacle. This was the night that I snapped on everyone and I had enough of being tormented. He says, tomorrow's a new day. Get whatever you need to get out of your system and know that you have a fresh start. Everything that I said to people on those streams that night, to Mommy Rambling, Space Monster, AJ, all these people that were tormenting me, I said foul shit, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. And Dog was right there rooting me on. Get it out of your system, buddy. You know, they've been tormenting you. This is a test. Next thing you know, he's like, it's terrible what he said. Shut the fuck up. That's why I say, when you poke and you poke and you poke, what do you expect people not to snap on you? And sorry, I haven't been reading. I've just been going off on this. Because the hypocrisy, the ignorance to look into stuff, and the, the desire to be relevant somehow by inserting yourself in things that you don't know anything about. You're welcome to your opinion. But if I see that your opinion is ridiculous and hypocritical because the person you're saying that you support and have the back of, you already knew how terrible she was to begin with. And you're welcome to change your mind, but I'm going to assume that you're stupid. And that's my right. And I'm going to say, nope. That's one thing where I draw the line. I don't care if you talk to AJ, but if you support her agenda of being trolled, being harassed, Believing she's not Chroma Vault while she harasses people on Chroma Vault, lies to all of you, says, I'm not doing anything. I'm not even on here. Oh, yes, you are. You're Chroma Vault. You poke at Amber. You poked at Lycan. You poke at a lot of people under Chroma Vault. But under your AJ account, 
I'm not doing anything. And Andog said something interesting. He said, you know, the reason I feel bad for AJ is she's all alone in this. Well, first of all, if she's all alone and everyone's targeting her, that would make her the common denominator. She's not being targeted. She's being responded to. Also, she's not alone. She has Captain Kangaroo and a couple other dingleberries. You're doing it because Ariana needs you to do it. Because she flip-flops and you're the lapdog. My opinion. Don't like it? Oh, well. That's why I blocked you. I don't give a fuck. But when you speak about stuff and say, that's not about the court case, you're incorrect. And I'm going to have to correct you on that, buddy. That's going to hurt your ego, but you'll be okay. Just roll another blunt and you'll forget about it by tomorrow. Cheers to all those weed smokers out there. I'm not a fan of it, but if you partake, roll a joint for Andog and salute. Here's another thing, too. What's really funny. Andog said something along the lines of, I didn't go over to his haters. Well, I mean, you have. I could name a list of them, but we'll just, we'll just cut to present day with a clean slate. I don't do that. Now, as all of you know, <clears throat> as all of you know, sorry, I'm still clearing out all the gunk. As all of you know, uh, Captain Kangaroo streams about me every single fucking day. <laughs> every day. Guess who pops up in his stream yesterday? Good old Ariana, who's completely against him. And, you know, Andog will follow Sue because he's a follower. Weed got you off opioids? That's awesome. So be ignorant over there. That's the reason I blocked you. I explained it kindly, Andog. And you had a snapping moment because it hurt your ego or whatever. But you'll get over it. Don't know if you're upset because I never say, love you, Andog. Back to you after you said it to me, like the fake bitch that you are. Okay. Third degree weird. <laughs> What's going on, Tiff? Let's listen to a little bit more, though, for these people or something. Now, don't quote me because I don't, I really don't remember clearly. You have to remember, too, I was also going through oh. recovery and shit. No, I wasn't over there. How did I end up here? To me, that shows whoever is doing that, you're the insecure one. Because you're so insecure that people won't be able to see the truth for themselves and be smart that you have to brainwash them into hating people with you. Or you what was that, Robbie? That came out of your own mouth? What was that shit? What did you just finish saying right now? I'll tell you what I finished saying. You were too busy fast forwarding and I don't, is that a joint in your mouth? I don't fucking know. I was saying, telling somebody where to go or not allowing someone to be friends with someone or getting mad at someone is fucked up because it is. But you are misunderstanding. So I'd appreciate it if you listen to the stream, man dog, when you do, because I know you're going to listen before you smoke a joint. So you can clearly hear the words that are coming out of my mouth and not twist them. I had zero issue. There's plenty of people in this chat that still speak to AJ Cromavault. Some of them, even Captain Kangaroo, that's not the issue here. The issue is you saying, I'm not going to get involved, and then using the word but and getting involved and saying you support the narrative, the narrative that AJ's not trolling her son or herself when in fact she is. And that was part of the court case. And when, when you said that wasn't part of the court case, that had nothing to do with it. That's where I'm correcting you, buddy, because it definitely had something to do and it was involved in the court case that is the original reason you know P you know aj says robbie called the police on me over my opinion on youtube no i walked into a police department because you were using my channel name my email address to file privacy complaints on your son's channel which i had no idea what the link to his channel was or what the fuck it was before that 
And I've proven, and we are going to prove in court as well, before she dropped it, because she was scared, a privacy complaint is not the same as a copyright. You can go in there and literally put anyone's information. It's an open form. Anyone's email, any note, you can do a little side note. And AJ typed a little side note saying, love your friendly YouTuber, save Robbie. Basically, what the privacy complaint was saying on my behalf was, I want this video taken down. That's my child in that video. Like I was saying that that was my child. Do you think anybody in their right fucking mind would use their own fucking information to do something like that? No. And hold on. We have Andog here. Do you want your camera on? I'm assuming he does. No, I didn't, but okay. Yeah, I don't know how to... Okay, never mind. I'm oh, going okay. to... Got... Go ahead. I'll mute and I'll give you the floor. Well, no, no, no. I just want to have a, a conversation with you because there, you were wrong on a few things. And okay. what I did... I Like, okay, for example. So when I said... First of all, I wasn't triggered. It was me being animated, but whatever. Anyway, that's not even the case. The case is when I said that I didn't, even though you're saying but, and you keep on adding that, it was something that just happened recently with an account, a fake alt account. Something that, that it had nothing to do with the course, something that just recently happened with, an, with a, a YouTube account. And it was like saying, like it was making it seem as if, if it, as if it was AJ, right? Mm -hmm. There's a, That's where I was telling, saying I have nothing. It was nothing against you. And I had never got mad when you blocked me because I never even mentioned anything about you blocking me. I, it was whatever it is. You did, I, actually. No, 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 no. What Meaning I never got pissed off or whatever. If you blocked me, it was whatever it was, right? So then I even went into your chat because of that because I, I don't know if it was something because there was somebody that came in with an alt account to my channel and they was trying to cause some friction between us. So then that that's why I went to your channel. I'm like, look, just to give you a heads up, blah, blah, blah. Somebody's trying to like cause some shit and, and just giving you a heads up. And that's what that was. You know, if, if you were wanted to block me, it is what it is, whatever. Right. OK, there's that. Um, also, the armchair detective thing that you were saying that I followed because I want to follow people. The reason I left, it was my own choice. It was not when I when I messaged you about Armchair Detective. It was me giving you a heads up because I was looking out for your channel. Now, whether but you- see, I don't, I'm gonna pause you there. That's where you got me all wrong because clearly if I, if I truly cared like, oh my God, people aren't gonna like what I have to say about this. I better change my mind. I don't do that. You either can like it or not, but I'm not going to change. I'm not going to fall in line with people just to be liked. Well, that's fine. But it's not to be liked or nothing. It was me looking out for your channel. That's why you're, you're not understanding. It was me looking out for your channel. Now, let's go back to the whole um, I love you situation uh, message that I sent you. That, yeah. was, that was sincere. That was me reaching out to you so you wouldn't harm yourself. So Because I was actually worried that you were going to, you know, something was going to happen to you that's where that came from okay that was well, hold on though so why so why is it okay for you to assume just because i talk to a lot of people and tell people i love them who the hell are you to assume and be like oh he says that to everybody yeah i do if i fucking mean perfect it. that's that's great that you brought that up because the reason i said that because that's what you were implying that i was doing that i go to other channels trying to get subs trying to this you started that whole little thing. So then my response to that well, was Well, I still do think that. that That's that just my opinion. This is you projecting yourself because this is when you go on, you come in for like a short period of time. If I'm in somebody's channel my, and I'm participating in chat, why couldn't that just be me having fun with the chat? Why does why why is it that your initial thought is that I'm trying to gain subs? Well, that it, it's not that, about the chat. It's about the, I look, don't ever look, see you in okay. smaller channels. Like You've going, here, it's always a big one. I don't ever see you seeing high and smaller ones. So that's my observation. I have to go to everybody's channel. I'm a viewer. I go, I'll be the only person in chat. If there's one 
in chat and it's me if it's a good conversation and I'll stick around. But I have as well. Okay, well, I've never witnessed it, but that's because you haven't I, seen me and it doesn't I'll take mean that for it. Not true. That's one. Okay. So now um oh another thing, I don't smoke weed, by the way. But I, I don't know if it was a joke or not. I'm just putting it out there. I don't oh, I don't know either. Right. Yeah, but anyway. Um so yeah, so that was me reaching out to you about um because I was fucking genuinely worried for you when, when all that shit happened. Now, when I said every, when I told you what, I'm mean, not when I told you, but when I said on my life, Oh, uh, I'm not, um, I'm not taking sides. I was referring to the mob that was going after AJ. Cause you and you having a battle with AJ, that's between both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So like other people getting involved, that's where, that's where I was like, okay, that's what I think is not fair or whatever. If you are doing something, if you're doing your live stream and you're proving your points and she's proving her points or whatever, that's on you guys. So that's why, that's where I, I was, that was, that's what I was trying to state. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, back to AD, all of that shit that happened had nothing to do with it because um, also, I also had a conversation with, um, we were having a conversation with all the mods Um and that had nothing to do. And another thing that you got wrong was that I jumped on um, AD's panel when that was not true neither because I got invited. As a matter of fact, Emma, if you remember Emma, her, his producer at the time, she contacted me because I had a face group, a uh, Facebook group based on Shanann. And she asked me if I wanted to participate in, in the chat. And I said, yeah. And they kept sending me invitations. And that's how that happened. Now, um, whether or not um, I, I bounce on AD because of I had my own reasons and my own beliefs. That has nothing to do with me following anybody else. And now, as, as far as me following Ariana, Ariana does whatever the fuck she wants. I don't fucking go wherever Ariana goes or whatever. Um, am I cool, Ariana? Yeah, because she's been with me for a long time. So is um, Heather. Heather's another one that, that I love and support. And as, as a matter of fact, there's been even at the time that we were beefing back in the days, even Heather would come up in your chats and Ariana, and I never had a problem with it. It never affected, it never did anything. It was it is what it is, and everything could continue, and that's what that's what it is. What I had a problem was that because I said my opinion, and then you were like, Well, no, Iron Dog, you're supporting um that aj did this this and this to me no i i don't support none of that i don't support well none i mean that is i'm gonna stop you there because aj you clearly don't know the history aj trolls herself aj trolls she attacks herself when i was threatening to get a restraining order on her years ago she needed a reason to get one on me and beat me to it so she made up lies and on the restraining order she put that i threatened to go to her home which i did not and I was ready to prove in court. I said, she's going to get a knock on her door and it's going to be a restraining order. She put this on the restraining order that I threatened her, her son. She also put in detail on the attachments that I was attacking her son's channel and all of these lies. And I want to point out something to you because you, when you brought that up and you said, I'm not going to get involved, but, and then you also said, I know people are going to get mad and I don't care. So you were aware, and obviously you would know, that situation not only cost a lot of time, money, stress, anxiety from being harassed with lies and labeled a child predator, that that would be stressful. So for somebody like you who, who says, oh, she's an idiot to think that we don't know she's Krama Vault, for somebody like you to stream while she's in Vegas, hours before my wedding, you were streaming about it, talking about it. And how crazy she is. And she even brought her son with her to Vegas. So let me ask you a question. Do you think AJ is Kramavolt? Do I? I honestly don't know. Do you think that? Because you thought it before. I did think that, but I don't, I don't, I can't, I have no real evidence that it is her. Okay. What made you change your mind? Because you were very certain before. Well, because I can't, the thing is when I have no pure ground, the evidence, I can't speak behind based on that that's why. well you have common sense though right because i mean come on who listen anybody with common sense and you know aj's history this is why it's even 
it looks even worse. That's this is why I look at you even worse. You know her history. You were so certain before. Nobody would give listen, AJ doesn't trust anybody on here. She says it over and over. Why would she trust not only one, now two different people to pass around a channel instead of that person just starting their own fucking channel? She said, I gave it away to save the brand and go in a different direction. You mean to tell me that all these videos they upload are already videos AJ has made herself. They hate the same people. They have the same experience and all this shit. Use your common sense. It is her. I can say that. And even if she took me to court and says, stop slandering me, I would say, subpoena her devices, please. Because she is Chroma Vault. She does troll herself. She does stir trouble. That is a fact. So I want to know what made you change your mind from that to lacking your common sense? I, because like, it's common sense that she is Chroma Vault, period. Look, now, I look, think maybe you're saying you don't know because you don't want to piss off Ariana. That's my opinion. No, no, no. You're, you see, you're taking me, you're, you're, you're trying to paint something that is not. Because if you don't listen to what I'm saying, that's I'm speaking on evidence. Based on evidence, I don't have any evidence to say 100% that it is her. Could it be her? Possibly, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it her? I can't say yes. I can't say yes to that. You can't say yes that it is her without having pure evidence to, to, to like, um, accuse somebody of doing something without the evidence being there. You understand what I'm saying? You can't. How about can't. the evidence of her starting that channel? We'll start there. There's evidence. It's her channel. That is true. Yes, that is true because she did. There she was. Yes. That's that's oh, true. That. Now, like I said, it, um, based on um, on the evidence, that's where I stand. Now, um, same thing goes for for everything. Every, everything. The same. Every concept that I I try to apply, I try to apply. What Logic. about Vegas? The Vegas thing. Coincidence? Is that what you're going to say? Uh, I'm not, not going to go there. Come on. Like, and dog, we're having an adult conversation. I appreciate <laughs> you coming up here. I know that you're smarter than that. Like, you have to realize... And anybody that pays attention, that's why when you say you support something, but you don't really know a lot of the history and her trolling history, that's a big blanket statement to say because that's how I take it as, oh, okay, so you're supporting all this bullshit and forgetting all the stuff that she does. No, oh, no, no, no. That's not at all what I was saying at all. At all. That's why I made okay. it real, real um, short and real simple. I... It has nothing to do every everything with the court process. Whatever, look, um, I don't know what you went through, and I can only imagine what you went through with the court because a court system, any, anything with court has, I, I know it's like a fucking hell. All right. That being said, it has nothing to do with. Yes, I stand by AJ for um the shit that she made you go through or whatever. I don't, I don't anything. Look, anything that includes real. I mean, you should know by now. Anything that has to do with real life, I stand against. Anything, real life, anything, whether it's court, whether it's, if it's YouTube and there's just clapback, there's that. And, and I agree, that's fine. With me, that's fine. Um, you know, insults could be added, your jokes, whatever. However, when it comes to real life, I don't agree with anybody that does that. Anybody. It, it doesn't matter who you are. If you're my best friend, it doesn't matter. It, I just don't agree with that. I don't, I don't think that people should be taking it to that level. That's that's where I stand on that. Um, so just making it clear, and I hope you understand there. I don't support that. What I was standing against was people that had, let's say you and her had your beef. And then all these other people are like coming in and trying to like, yeah, but, you know, I'm coming after you for whatever reason or Based and this is was based on an account that was made recently, and I, I, I let me see, probably the most I would say two months ago, possibly. I would say maybe that that's maybe three months, if that. But I think it was two months ago that this account was made, um, and it was like saying some shit, like making it seem like if it was her, and 
and that's what that was. Now, as far as me and AJ go, I'm cool, but I'm not cool with her. You go, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we're on a, like, hey, I see her on chat. I say, what's up? I don't wish her harm or anything like that. And that's that. Uh, it's not like I fucking talk to her behind the scenes or any of that shit. Um, but that's that. And uh, again, everything between you guys is between you guys. I'm not going to get involved with whatever happened in your personal life because one, I don't even know what you, ex nobody knows what you experience. It don't matter how you say it and how, you know, nobody could experience what you experience. So nobody could really know what you went through. Um, but that's where you have misunderstood what I was saying. And I mean, there was no, look, in all, in all reality, you said that I got triggered. I didn't get triggered. I was reacting how I react always. There was, I don't change how you were saying that I changed, how my, my opinions change. My opinions stay the same. That's why I left Armchair Detective, because I felt a certain way. You could say that, well, there's nothing wrong with that, that the reason you left. You could mm -hmm. say that. That's your opinion. And that's why you stayed. But if okay. I leave, I'm entitled to my opinion as well. You know, when, when I saw something disgusting, like on the Google search, like, mom daughter come or some shit like that it, it's bro to me is disgusting like i i understand what you were saying i understand i understood your point of view but I, you also have to understand my point of view i got kids you know what i'm saying like yeah but it, it didn't say kids there's no, I, I mean it didn't say that age. i understand that i understand that it didn't say i'm not saying that yeah. it, it had to do with any pedophilia or or I, i'm not saying any of that if if that was the case Trust me, I wouldn't have just left. I would have been like this motherfucker. I would have made a fucking scene and I would have tried to get up on panel and fucking blast him for that shit. But mm -hmm. I'm not saying that's what it is at all. What I'm saying is to me, that was just, I don't fucking, that's not where I stand. Like, I, I was like, you know what? This is not appropriate. Not, you know, yes, I have a foul mouth, but at the same time, I, I do have standards. Like, I can't, I'm not going to be a part of that. And I refuse to be a part of that. Now, this conversation, before I even left, I want to add that even when that was happening and I don't have no hate towards him or nothing at all. Like I honestly wish him the best and whatever, because you know, he's, he's an old dude. You know, I don't, I don't wish no harm on him. Um, when, before I left, there was also like this whole huge um, conversation. It took like a month for like these, all the moderators, like all deciding who's leaving. And then the, it, it, it cut a rip between all the moderators we were all peaceful and then everything just went to fucking hell. Everybody started calling each other bitches and some, anyway, whole point is we went through this whole shit. And then at one point I even started kind of like questioning it. Like I wasn't sure, like, fuck, I don't even know. Cause Kevin, the IT guy, maybe he, he had something personally against, it was all this confusion that was going on. And finally I said, you know what? I'll just step away and it'll be better that way. Now, some of the people that followed me, followed me. I wouldn't, I never try to get nobody subscriber. One thing is I think is a shitty ass move for anybody to steal anybody else's subscriber. That's why when I stick to my opinions, I'm hardcore at it. I, I try to be as sometimes I try to be as blunt as possible so they could understand where I'm coming from. So people, when they do come into my um, stream and I'm not trying to like fucking promote my stream, by the way, but when they come into my stream, well, subscribe to Andog, anyways. No, just fucking <laughs> fucker. <laughs> when when um when people come into my stream, I try to let them know ahead of time, like, okay, look, this is what. Got That's why when I say a lot of people are gonna get mad, I always say that ahead of time because, and I don't give a fuck because I know a lot of people are gonna get pissed because where I stand because I know some people, you know, they misunderstand things, and I'm not saying you, but I'm saying like um, let's say the subs. Some people misunderstand things or um, just get it a little bit confused and they don't quite understand exactly what I'm trying to say. But just because I'm saying something that they think that I might be going against somebody, they'll they'll be like, oh, well, fuck him. You know, like, well, I'm fuck and dog and whatever. And, and I've gone through all these years. I've lost multiple fucking subs, multiple moderators, multiple based on my opinion. And I mean, it, it's going to be the same. This is why I, I, I don't even feel like I'm going to gain subscribers from anybody until I get them organically. You understand? Like, in order for me 
to gain a subscriber, they have to like me for who I am, not for me showing up in a chat room. Because if they, they they could see me, I could be joking around in a chat room, like, ha I'm going to subscribe. So you know how many times I've gotten my subscriber count gone up and then it goes, just drops back down. And I was like, OK, well, this is this is what it is, because sometimes they're not um, attracted to the to the whatever value uh, or if you want to say value but whatever i'm um, um, the inter- source of entertainment anyway but yeah that's yeah. well yeah okay so we could clear up those were two digs we took at each other the sub grabbing me saying i love you to people and all that so those are petty things like it's fine we could get over that but back to the question about vegas because the only reason i ask about that is because if you truly believe that you know, AJ, and if she is being trolled or harassed, that's not okay. And if anybody's trying to do it because they're like trying to do it for me or anything, that's not what I want. Mm -hmm. Um, But you have to realize, I know, like I know from experience, from things that have happened, the reason I was going to get a restraining order to begin with, I have plenty of videos on my channel. It's too much to get into, but facts about AJ harassing, stalking, possibly vandalizing um all sorts of shit freaking out on me going real life on me and all sorts of stuff okay so she says to everyone you know i'm being harassed and all of this stuff so if you believe that the reason i'm asking you about vegas is Mm. if she's willing to lie about first of all if she's willing to lie which i've proven she has on court documents if she's willing to lie about channel she has and still go in and be like hi guys thank you for supporting me i'm not that channel or i didn't go to vegas for that who's to say she's not lying to you about other things that she wants you to feel bad about so that's why i ask about vegas so what what do you think about vegas coincidence (sighs) to be honest um i found like found it a little too much for a coincidence to be honest. Right. And, and so she showed proof like documents that like she booked the trip, like in March, the year prior, like a whole, I don't know what happened to him, but I'm sure he'll be back like a whole year prior. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Yeah. So she shows like this email, like, see, this is proof. I ordered my tickets. AJ was only there for like two days. She literally flew back like a couple hours before the actual wedding started, making videos, flipping the camera off. And then a snarky video like, we're back in Denver. It was so fun, like taunting. And as she was flying out to Vegas, guess what she does? She posts a video in the plane, but posts it on Chroma Vault. And now she says, well, it's a family vacation. Give me a fucking break. If you're taking your child and you plan a year in advance to go to Vegas for two days with a kid, no. She did that. And and I'm not like saying agree with me. I'm saying this is just my opinion. She did that to taunt, to harass, to because they were having talks even weeks before. Like, oh, they're saying AJ is going to show up and joking about it. She's like, ha, ha, ha. Well, I guess we'll see. All of that. Even Lokomai has witnessed that. Lokomai would not just make something like that up. What I, what I saw from um, from what I remember, because um, she gave, at uh, one point, she gave the the middle finger. I don't know if you saw that. Yes. She, and then I have I, all of them. I have. Yeah. So then that one, the, that one I took kind of like, um, like it could have been like a, a fuck you from AJ. Like that, that's why she went. Well, what really confirmed it for me was, I don't know who does this on a normal vacation and posts a video of it. See, I'll prove to you I'm in Vegas. Excuse me, ma'am. What's the day and time? Well, the date and time was April 1st, which was my wedding day. So it was almost like, see, I'm here on his wedding day. Like, just all of it. And so I hope you understand that it's like, I get it. Because I've made peace with AJ a number of times. She has not stuck to that. I have. And then I've responded. I'm like, or like Devil Mike said in your chat or in your uh, comments, he mm-hmm. said, you know, I've I've witnessed this and AJ has stuck to it. And she goes off and she doesn't even come on YouTube. And then she was mentioned three times. 
that's because she's going after me on Chroma Vault during that time. Like people don't understand this. So when people say, what's the big deal? Why is it anyone's business? Why do people care if she's Chroma Vault? Well, number one, because she's lying to you and everyone else about it. But number two, this is something that she not only cost me money, but this could have ruined my entire life. Calling me a child predator, getting a restraining order, all of that shit. That is the worst way to go real life on a man. This could have completely destroyed me. So when I see people welcoming her, do I question them a little bit? Yeah, in my head, but I'm not going to be like, I hate you because you talked to AJ. But what really irked me was the whole, like, I have her back. That's when I was like, it it does feel like a slap because it's like, dude, do they not realize how dangerous she fucking is? Yeah, have I fucking been a dick and said shit and stuff? But all the shit she accuses me of, you have to realize I was fully prepared and confident in that courtroom that she did not show up to, fully confident in my attorney that I paid, fully confident in winning my case and prosecuting her. On YouTube, it's like anybody believes anything. Well, you can't lie like that in a court of law, and that's why she dropped it. So, you, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, do you think that um, possibly, um, I mean, I know that you already tried peace with her and all that. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that maybe you could, I don't know, start like a, a some sort of piece where you could talk to her and be like, look, even with, it, I want to make peace and even with that um, Krama account, so, you know, there won't be no back and forth and we'll just end it there and then it'll be just fucking history. That, I've tried, I'm willing to try anything uh, again I've tried that before her, what AJ wants. And she's even said this in emails. She said it publicly. She says, peace does not, you know, uh, erase the past. And I'm still going to talk about it. AJ wants her name cleared. Well, her version of clearing her name is I would have to lie to do that. I'm, I'm not going to do that because she's done horrible things. As far as the Chroma Vault thing, I think, it would be great for people that support Cromavault or AJ to encourage them. Hey, how about Cromavault stops? Because this is not a good look on you, AJ. I thought they were going in a different direction. I've, I have tried that. I'm willing to try it again. But AJ's excuse is, well, I'm not Cromavault and they'll do what they do. I'm not the boss of them. And then it keeps going. Mm -hmm. If Cromavault really was somebody that cared about her, which it's her, if they were, they wouldn't be doing this. This makes her look terrible. Mm -hmm. So I, I do agree. And I think that's a good idea. It, we've tried it, but I'll try again. But it doesn't help when you have Kramavalt, who I know is her. Other people can disagree, and that's fine. Like, still going. Captain yeah. Kangaroo, at this point, he's harmless. I listen to him for entertainment. That mm -hmm. doesn't bug me. But when I know she's behind that account and doesn't stop and then says, Oh my God, he's so obsessed. He won't stop. It's like, you don't realize I'm responding to you incognito. That's how I see it. Yeah. But I mean, I do appreciate you coming up because mm -hmm. I, we both got a little heated, misunderstood each other a little bit, have our own opinions and I can respect your opinion. It's just, I well, mean, it was, I it realize was this. It was just a little clap back. That's all. <laughs> like, we yeah, were just well, I mean, we could. It's, it's drama. You know, we, we were going to clap back. We're going to be snarky, throw yeah. our little digs or whatever. And I apologize for that. I'm no, no. You don't have to apologize. It is what it is. Right, and I'm glad we understand each other as far. And and look, I respect your opinion. You know, um, it's just mine. I just see it as like. And I don't even really care about the money part. It's just after everything that I went through during that time with my lawyer and then for her to drop it. And then the day she dropped it, she, and by the way, my lawyer, my retainer was already pretty much almost used up. I had to pay $2,000 more to him to continue it. Then she's like, uh, Merry Christmas, Robbie. She goes on YouTube after she drops it. Now everybody go get your refund. He doesn't need his lawyer. And basically now trying to 
put me in the hole on PayPal because getting people, which thank God nobody asked for a refund, but now trying to mess with my money. It's like she used this to harass me. And then I, I went so far as to even have my attorney on. She continues to this day to call me a child predator. She continues to say my lawyer was fake and everything because she's allowed to lie on YouTube. If I truly were to take her to court, she would have been fucked. So that's why it's just frustrating when I see people like supporting her narrative. I'm like, yeah, that was pretty harmful to me. So I'm just going to not associate with that person. Yeah, I can understand that. Right. It, yeah. And she, and then her and Captain, there was no case. Yeah, there's actually a case number. <laughs> so, anyways, do you have anything additional no, to add? That, or? Yeah, no, I'm good. Okay. All right. Uh, goodbye, everyone. Uh, Robbie, thank you for having me up. Thank you for coming up. All right. Have a good one. Okay, you too. Thank you. Bye. There we go, guys. See? The, and you know what? Somebody was saying all these... Every time Robbie offers a link, nobody takes it. Well, he took it, and I appreciate that. Because most of these people, AJ won't, Captain won't, Space has, but then she threatened to fly out here with an AK. Yes, Darlie Nikki's correct. AJ called the police on people long before Robbie and threatened others. And there's lots of proof of that that we haven't put out, but uh, possibly can. But yeah, I do appreciate you coming up. And dog, that's called uh, communicating and adulting. And I like that. I respond well to that. Um, does anybody else have anything to add? I'll drop the link. If anybody has anything to add or in chat, let me know. Do you guys check out the new uh, Krama Breaking News? I literally did it all in one, one day after my live stream the other day. Took forever to to edit though. Robbie never should have put out money for a lawyer. AJ lied on documents, withdrew the case, then said people to ask for a refund. Yeah, and and you guys have to remember that the day that AJ got the restraining order on me, she took a picture of the physical restraining order and emailed it to Siren and said, if you keep running your mouth, you're next. So she's just fucking. She likes to silence people just like on. And here's another thing, guys. What uh, something she says on Chroma Vault all the time. She says, keep it up, Robbie. As long as you keep going, we're going to keep going till you shut your mouth. Well, I'm not going to shut my fucking mouth. And I'll open it real fucking big in court again, too, because you are a criminal, period. You go incognito under troll accounts, which can be proven with your fucking devices being subpoenaed. I would gladly hand over all mine and you'll see that i don't do any of the shit you accuse me of you're the psycho you're the stalker you're the one with the problem and the people that don't see it you know it's it's disappointing it doesn't make me hate those people but you know supporting her narrative i don't hate anybody but supporting her narrative is like that's where i draw the line um and hi samantha b i think i did block you samantha um i think it was because of yeah it, ariana anybody saying oh my god these people just won't leave you alone aj that's another line for me because it's common sense so i apologize for blocking you but use your fucking common sense people i have videos up showing all the documents everything all the billable hours from my court case and stuff my husband doesn't even know probably that i'm talking about this right now I don't like to involve him. I don't like to tell him because there's a lot of things that are therapeutic for me to talk about on here and should be uh, talked about when I'm being lied about, especially when there's children involved. Just because you're a mother, you don't get to use those people as weapons to attack people and silence them. Bingo. Excuse me. Al. Common sense 2024. Exactly, Amy. They don't care unless it happens to them or, or somebody, you know, close to them or whatever. But I mean, you'll see. And Captain Kangaroo says all the time, he lied and said 
She mailed him a package. Look, AJ was doing a lot of crazy shit and freaking out just because I wouldn't take her side with the glare. So everything that happened to me, I was freaking out. I did a live stream. Mustang Sally mailed me a shirt that says stop online bullying. And I freaked out. I thought AJ mailed it to me because she's always like, stop bullying, cyber bully. And I cleared it up on the next live stream. Nobody talks about that. I cleared it up. I was like, that was my mistake. As far as the vandalizing my car, I still, in my opinion, am very suspicious of AJ because she did live close to me. She was screaming at me the night before for not taking her side with the glare. And surprisingly, the next day, I come out of my house, go to my car. My Save Robbie sticker is scraped off my car and my license plate. It, someone tried to rip it off. It was hanging. My HOA guy pointed it out to me. So I text AJ. That was the first thing that popped to mind because she's the only crazy person that hated me in the moment. I said, did you do this to my car? And she's like, how dare you accuse me of that? And I'm like, I was just asking because you're the only one that was freaking out on me the night before. Ever since then, he accused me of this. I did. I'm like, you're the one who brought it online. I literally text you and asked you, did you do that? And yeah, she is disturbing enough to do it. She's disturbing enough to lie on court documents. If you don't support AJ and what she does and who she hates, you're a target of hers. If you like me, you're a target of hers. If you hate me, she's going to come over and befriend you. <laughs> Even if she hated you before. No peas. That's, that's, listen, I've been dealing with this for years. I just the other day, I showed my husband, I was like, you want to see something? I showed him Captain Kangaroo's channel. He was like, what? he didn't even know who that was. He was like, he talks about you all the time? Yeah, every fucking day. He's like, where's where does he live? I'm like, I don't know, fucking Australia or something. He's like, he's confused by this kind of shit. So he doesn't understand when I talk about it because he doesn't even know the history on it because my husband's not interested in bullshit like that. But I care about it because it affected my life before I met him. She does act like a crazy ex-girlfriend. Love you, baby love. Uh-oh. What happened? I feel you. I lo Hi. Love you. Love you. Your fibro is the del. Oh, I'm sorry. Michelle is saying fibro and she has seizures too. I wouldn't show that on screen so you don't dox. What is that? What is that? Okay. Hold, please, folks. Don't watch it on screen, you said. So can we take it off of screen? Oh, yes. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Top secret. This is nothing to do with YouTube. Hold on. Thank okay, you love guys. you. You're welcome. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Marriage stuff. By the way, it's almost our wedding anniversary. One year. Today's the 27th. Our wedding anniversary is April 1st. So two, three, four, five days. There's all you bitches that said I'd give it a couple of months. Suck it. Your fiance ignores you when you talk about YouTube stuff. <clears throat> well. I, I get that too, because it's like, when you try to explain, because like my husband, he'll see that some things, yes, psycho cunt, he'll see that th things like upset me or whatever, <clears throat> or that I'll come on and talk. And he's like, I like when you do like your funny stuff or this or that, you know, like, don't even talk about that. And I get it. And he's not the only one who's, who says stuff. I'm sure a lot of you people who try to explain YouTube to people off of, um, the platform like in your life they think it's stupid or just they'll use the word drama and yeah it is like i guess people call it you know, drama community crama and stuff but it, it i if you notice even when i'm talking about anyone like granny's watching the other day that had to do with me i don't just come on here and like commentate on other people and, and stick my nose in i talk about my experiences and people have to realize when I started my channel 
vlogging or making music or parodies or entertaining or even just venting. That's why my channel name is Save Robbie, because doing that kind of stuff saves me in a sense. It it gets it off of my chest. It's like therapy or expressing, laughing with people, entertaining, like all of that. That's why it's called Save Robbie. So if people don't like that I talk about issues or whatever, then don't participate in Saving Robbie. Fuck it. <laughs> That's all you need to do. So a lot of people don't understand, like, I'm like, just picture reality TV, but it actually being real and affecting your life. That's how you explain it to others. <laughs> you were a lurker back then, Michelle. By the way, I, I hope you your uh, health is gets better, and I hope you feel better with the fibro and that your seizures get under control, Michelle. So hearts for you. Sorry, I keep wiping my lips because the sugar-free cough drops get very sticky on my sides. And it makes my mouth stick like, oh, you'll save my ass all day long. I'll take it. And we got to get Laugh at Life's channel going. She has good plans for channel she wants to start. And uh, we got to get hers going. You should drop your link, uh, Laugh at Life, so people can go over there. Uh, Darling Nikki says, why would a random person accept ownership of a channel, claim to be independent, yet only attack the people AJ doesn't like? Weird. And not only that, but with the same aggression and the same anger. Uh, and I saw Samantha B was saying something. Sorry, Samantha, I wasn't trying to ignore you. Um, I know I'm not aware of the entire situation regarding her, but I never meant to uh, invalidate your feelings, Robbie, or what you've been through. Hope you know that. And thanks again for unblocking me. Well, you're welcome. And thank you. Um, and, and see, I can't fault people. And it's not even your responsibility like you don't even need to go watch the history because if you don't want to get involved but when people say you know they they need to stop or he needs to stop you have to realize nobody really aj changes her name all the time so she doesn't have really a reputation that anybody would really know who she is except for the people that she fucks with and that's why her reputation's bad she doesn't keep the same name she doesn't keep the same persona. She has 10 million different fucking channels. She changes the name of them consistently. And that and that's why nobody really fucking knows. So nobody's going to dedicate time to fucking troll her because you don't even know what fucking channel to go to to troll her at. Because you can't pick one. A movie needs to be made about this? Oh, I agree about the court shit because it's some crazy shit. Okay, perfume addicts, be safe. Have a good one. Um, yeah, and I know there's not a lot of armchair fans, but as far as me, I don't judge you on whatever sexual stuff you like to do as long as you're not abusing anyone and it's legal. Have at it. You like like Street Maxer. He's very open about his sex life and good for him. He's proud of it and it makes him happy, so... Go for it, Street Maxer. I support you in that for sure. But yeah, so I've witnessed when, see, when I've ignored AJ and she wants people to hate me because that's what she wants. If you don't align with her, she's going to make you align with her. So that's why she tried to force me to align with her over the glare. Then when she doesn't have a reason to come for you, she'll make one. She'll start harassing herself, trolling herself. And, and you got to think, she's barely relevant now, except for her bad reputation. Back then, nobody really fucking knew who she was. Oh, I'm being trolled by all these people. No, bitch, you're doing it to yourself. Nobody knew your son's channel but you. You did that. And that's my opinion. And that's exactly what I would want out of court if we continued that back then is subpoena that bitch's devices. I'll give you all mine. Subpoena hers. She's in the wrong. Why would you back out of a protection order if you truly believe you're, you or your child or your family's in harm? Wouldn't a mother want to get to the bottom of that? And not drop it and be like, Merry Christmas, get your money back. Oh, no, no, no. If I had a fucking kid, uh-uh, bitch. I'll get a fucking loan. I'll do a fucking... A fundraiser. And I will get the money 
to get to the bottom of who is harassing my child. I would not drop it. She dropped it for lack of evidence because she lied. End of story. And I don't give a shit what she says on here. I could prove that in court. I could prove it on here. I am confident she is not. And there's going to be a million fucking community posts on all of her channels today and probably create even new ones now. Good for her. But I can speak my fucking the truth with my fucking face, AJ. You couldn't even fucking do that in court and calling in. You didn't even show your face on fucking camera. Couldn't even do that. You probably don't offer filters like in the court Zoom. That's probably why. <laughs> oh, what the hell is a street? Street maxer, whore maxer. AJ and Space are the ones who clone people. Oh, yeah, there's a clone right now I'm working to get taken down of me. If you guys see, and that's another thing. Um, I've noticed, and I think a lot of the issues that have started, like, when AJ sees me falling out with people, then they'll be like, oh, now Robbie's trolling me over here. I'm like, no, the fuck, I'm not. I think she literally pays attention to when I fall out with people, goes over and trolls them and harasses them. So they think it's fucking me. Guaranteed. But there's also a Save Robbie account out there with my exact profile picture um, pretending to be me. So if you see any weird comments that like, you think, like, I wouldn't just go into a chat and start talking shit or anything. Let me know. I've been trolling him uh, under this account named Pesky for months. Yeah, I'm typing with my toes right now. That's why I have my socks off. You also have a clone? Yeah, I think we all do. She's already started with her posts over on Chroma Vault. Just for shits and gigs. Let's go take a look. <laughs> Let's take a look. And guaranteed, Nikki, is it crickets over on her AJ account? She'd be like, I was doing this. I didn't even see. My God, he's so obsessed with me. Meanwhile, she's on Chroma Vault like. <laughs> break. It's like, go. All right, let's take a look. I'll just read them out. She calls me Roberta. 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 I need to have like a parody Roberta uh, version of myself. So three minutes ago, she says, there's no proof of anything Roberta states about his obsession, but it's quite entertaining to watch. You all show your arses. She's trying to talk British. Lose the act. Uh, six minutes ago, your narrative is a joke, Roberta, just like you. Laugh emoji. <laughs> Damn, seven minutes ago? Damn. A post seven minutes ago, seven minutes ago, six minutes ago, three minutes ago. Yeah, like somebody would get outraged for somebody like that. Give me a break. Hold on. You guys got to see this. So to the people that are like, I'm still questioning if, if it's AJ. Would any of your friends outrage for you at all? None of mine would. They'd be like, dude, you could handle yourself. But four times within, what, three minutes? Seven minutes? None of my friends would do that. Nobody's doing that. That's AJ. You doxed your cousin? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. So anyways, she's tagging Darling Nikki seven minutes ago. Darling Nikki, same reason people transferred ownership of channels to Lycan. They cared about him. Dude, nobody cares about you, though. Lots of people care for Lycan. Uh, then she tags Tiffany seven minutes ago. Tiff, tiff all day. Make it public, liar. 28 minutes ago. Too funny, too funny. Can anyone explain how videos of our Vegas of our trip to Vegas prove we went there for Roberta's wedding? I'll wait. Jesus, Lord in heaven. Darling Nikki says, I could show some foul shit she has said. Call me excessed. I spared her so far. Yeah, I think you seem to forget, AJ. You sent a lot of messages to Nikki back in the day. A lot. Uh, 54 minutes ago, when watching a clip channel, do you prefer to hear clips with audio, voiceover, commentary, or visuals? How about you just get a life and stop fucking clipping people and pretending to be someone else? 
<laughs> How about you do that? Samantha B says, I've always said, I hope this can be worked out and want the best for you both. I appreciate that, Samantha. We're the coolest, Scotty. Uh-oh. Let's see. How many, let's predict, how many people do you think she's going to go at today in her tags from this chat? I'm going to predict probably Scotty. She hasn't done Amy yet, but she's already done that like 5 million times. Um, Lonnie says, fuck yeah, bring on the community post, bitches. I have a CP tab. Get ready for my CPs and my lame memes, bitches. I'm in the mood today. Just remember, be very careful, Lonnie, because uh, community posts the reporting now too. But you got this. You got this. Yeah, of course she's watching. No, Krama Vault is watching. Remember. <laughs> Tiff says, I love how she tries to sound normal like she has some sort of direction. Ah, Kendall, I was just talking about you the other day. You're so beautiful. Guys, remember the other day when I was, I think it was like last week, and I was saying how Kendall was another one I met in person uh, when I hung out with Molly Golightly and stuff, but she was more like the, she was, we were all getting crazy and she showed up later in the night after we were toasted. It was just kind of like chilling. <laughs> You're so beautiful. I hope you're doing good. I probably smelled like booze. I remember I ran out of gum. I was like, Kendall, do you have any gum? And she gave me a piece of gum. But we had been drinking for like 12 hours and I was smoking cigarettes. She was probably like, yeah, here, take some. You need it. Um, I think she hates Amy, Darling, Nikki, and me because she knows we can talk to Robbie whenever we want and he doesn't call the cops. <laughs> <coughs> yes kendall i adore you kendall from yeah critical k aj should know how much i have not shared yet she continues she's gonna out that i'm really robbie because of a snitch ass jamie damn it lonnie's bringing back her main channel guys next week uh all the strikes have expired and you're over the strike happy people on here oh <gasps> That's awesome. I'm I'm glad, Lonnie. I don't see how she gets anything else done in her real life. She fucking doesn't. She doesn't. I'm going to point something out that somebody said to me the other day. Okay? She says, like, don't talk about her job, but she takes pictures from her supposed, supposed job. As much as she's on here under Chroma Vault and all of her other accounts... Some, a very logical person messaged me and said, hey, Robbie, you know, I was really paying attention today and I noticed AJ, you know, she says, I work 12 hour shifts. I don't have time for this. She said she was going to work. Then she comes back like six hours later and she's on all fucking day. That's not a 12 hour shift. Not that I'm trying to get involved with her work or anything, because that's not what I mean, but she fucking lies, period. Lies. And I can't listen. I can't convince you of that. Just like me and Ann Dog. I'm like, okay, I respect your opinion. I'm just telling you my experience, you know, now that we better understand each other. I'm not, a, I don't control people. I can't tell you what to believe. You're going to call me a fucking idiot and be like, bitch, I'll think for myself. I just show any experience or proof that I have. And that's that. Hey, Jillian Rowe. How you doing? That's all I do, and you can do with it what you want. And she always says, he needs to clear my name. Well, start being a, a good human, and your name might get cleared, but your past is still there. You've done evil stuff, real-life stuff. You're currently lying to the community about not being an account that you are, and all of that kind of stuff. So if you stop that, that's when your reputation for your own self will start to repair itself. If you start becoming a credible person. Yeah, AJ, take a link. You're posting over there. Or Krama Vault. Take a link. Krama Vault. I got a little bit of time. There you go. Krama Vault. What time is it over in the UK? Maybe they can't. Are they sleeping? Uh, you're nosy, Jillian. Who are we talking about? Well, we were addressing Andog um, earlier. And I'll keep this stream up just so you could see that people can talk like adults, okay? Uh, and he came up and we spoke and, you know, we can agree to disagree. And I like that. We don't have to 
fight with each other. That's what being an adult is. And that was so easy. So I have respect for and dog for doing that. I do. Cause I like that. I like having conversations. That's the point. Talk, get out your frustration, be bitchy if you have to, but at least have some sort of resolution. And I, I mean, I really respect him for doing that. So go subscribe to and dog. Not because he was over here fishing or anything, because he's not. Most people know who he is anyways, or probably already subscribed. But if you're not, go check him out. Adulting is fun. So tick, tock, crumb of alt, tick, tock. The link's in the chat. Tick, tock, tick, tock. She's over there. He's harassing me, telling me to take a link. Oh, boy, boy. And, and wouldn't that be amazing, you guys? Wouldn't it be amazing if AJ actually took the link like Andog did and was an adult instead of being a fucking child over there on her 10 million channels and just squashed it? Wouldn't that be cool? She's not capable of it. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Crystal, I think you might be right there. I think you might be right. Come up, AJ Krama. Where's Krama time, by the way? Uh, people are so lame on here. They can say and do whatever, but you respond and they strike you. It's pathetic, but we can all play that game. Just saying, Lonnie says, people need to grow up and stop being pathetic Karens. Or it's so cringy especially when people like captain kangaroo they're like stalker and like yeah man like that's all they do is talk about aj it's like do you have any self-awareness uh captain kangaroo have you seen your channel it's all fucking me let's see if this is the real sam hill mm. hold on let me put up my peen screen hold on mr sam hill where is my peen screen? Hold on a minute. Oh, there it is. Yeah, man, who would who would name themselves Captain Kangaroo, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good, man. Are you waiting for someone else? I'll get off. You were calling out someone, man. Oh, no, I was. I, <laughs> she won't take a leak. She's a fucking... Is, she, cat, is that is capable. that the Captain Kangaroo or someone? Have you seen that? Captain Kangaroo on here? No, the, man. I just heard the name, and wasn't that some TV figure, a real, uh, a real guy? And who is who the fuck is who would name themselves Captain? How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> he was supposed to be a good guy or something. Yeah, that was before my time. I think he was like Mister Rogers or something. Right? Yeah, I yeah. like Mister Rogers. You know. His puppets were creepy, though. Was he? Well, I, thank you for telling me that. You're gonna, you're gonna ruin my whole liking that guy. But he had yeah. creepy puppets, really. And nobody's that fucking happy in the morning time. <laughs> Not me. He's like all looking tidy with his <laughs> well, shirt and tie and stuff. I'm like, bitch. When I'm running out the door, I'm sweating because I like getting ready last minute, and I'm all like, yeah. <laughs> well. I got During nothing to run to, brother. I don't work. <laughs> and sometimes oh. the coolest is, you know, when you wake up with your 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 love. Well, to be honest, I don't think that uh, Mr. Rogers worked either. I think he was just getting dressed like that. No, don't, don't wreck Mr. Rogers for me there, Robin. <laughs> I believe he had a food stamp song. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, puppets, puppets with an adult are kind of creepy. I'll, I'll give you that, you know. Yeah. You better have an FBI check if you're going to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't really see that anymore nowadays. Nope. Like, you don't nope. see what we used to see as kids, like a yeah. grown man. Like, I sat, we had a clown named Blinky mm -hmm. in Denver, and he was our, like, our kid show in Denver, yeah. our local. So you could go, like, sit on his lap and be on, in Whoa. the audience and sit in the birthday chair on his birthday. And I sat in the birthday chair on an episode, and I... I sat on his lap to take a picture. Uh -huh. At that age, I knew exactly what alcohol smelled like, and that man was drunk. Whoa. Yes. Yeah, well, it do that job. Like, you know, when I was a kid, Christmas, you, you'd go, you'd go sit on the lap of Santa Claus. But I think things have come out 
And I don't know if kids do. It's kind of creepy, you know? Yeah. Well, I, I think I peed when I was little on Santa's lap. We all peed. My parents told me. We still pee. Yeah. <laughs> and as kids, like you, who brings their uh, babies and stuff? Because most kids yeah. you see terrified and screaming and they yeah. pull them off crying. Yeah, for sure. Off Santa's lap. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and one time I got to admit there was something going on in Santa's lap. <laughs> that was a good looking kid too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I also, I don't know if you've ever heard my take on Santa, but no. I don't like the, like, Michael, if we have a kid, he wants to tell them mm. about Santa. And I'm like, no, mm. I'm not. I'm not lying to my kid. But I, I find it kind of scary that we're like telling him a stranger that you've never mm. met. But one time a year is going to break into our house tonight. And that's OK. Yeah. What if somebody actually broke into the house on Christmas well, and nobody did a fucking thing because they thought it was Santa? And then everyone yeah, in the house if you were a clever a break and entering guy. You dress up as Santa, right? It's a really good idea. I actually have an opinion. <laughs> I have an opinion on Santa Claus, and I'm an expert. I do have to teach credits, blah, 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 that uh, I know it's cool and everything, but I don't think it's worth it because the first time that you figure out that your your parents have lied to you. you know? Thank you. That's my argument all the time. No, really? is... Well, that maybe that's my argument, and you got it from me. <laughs> no, it's not original. Oh, no, I've, I've felt like this for I agree years. With you. Me because too. Because you're, what you're doing is, yes, it's a... People say, well, it's a white lie, but no, it's a big a, lie. A kid like me who actually mm -hmm. believed in Santa for real. Me too. Me too, man. Then I'm like, what else are you lying about? And it makes it hard exactly. to believe in God after that. It made it exactly. really Exactly. God, I don't think there's anything in the Bible about Santa Claus, but exactly right. That that it's not it's it's like uh it's not worth it, man. Yeah, I wanna, you know, I have two boys. I want them to be cool, but I'm not gonna lie to them. And I've always always thought that that it's not worth it because you find out the truth and you feel like a dummy, and then you figure out that yeah, it's probably the first time our parents have lied to us that we get. Right? Well, and, and this is gonna be controversial, but this is the nope. way I see it. Okay. Controversial. Because I do I do love God, I may not go strictly Me by the too. Bible, but I love Christ. I'm a believer. Yeah. So a lot of people make a joke that the same letters in Santa are in the word Satan. But if you really oh. think about it, if you really yeah. think about it, Santa to me is a distraction. And the reason I say that is because I think if you're making people believe in Santa uh -huh. and then saying it's a lie. Like I just said, it makes yeah. your faith shaky in God and yeah. it interferes. And that's Satan's way of interfering with your relationship with God. I never thought of, actually, I think it was just fun for me. But I can see where, where you think that because Satan is all aware. But do you like David Lynch films, by the way? Um, Does he do like Left Behind and stuff? No, he did is like that... That, that movie Blue Velvet. Oh, no, I don't know. But the idea is... That, yeah, Satan exists, I think, to believers, but David Lynch and others, uh, he did, you know, with the typical horror film, the, the, the threat is external. The monsters come at you. But with David Lynch, he goes to something real, I think, that, that, that sometimes the greatest horror is within ourselves. The greatest bad. Hmm. Right? Oh, I agree with that wholeheartedly because I've been my own worst enemy as well. Yeah, we got stuff inside of us. Now, some people got really evil stuff. I don't, but I got stuff like, you know, I've beaten up people out of control. I got I got some evil within me. And hopefully, oh, you're smiling. Why are you smiling? I was reading Amy's comment. I'd like to see that. You can't com compare and Santa to God. We're not, but, well, I'm not. But but uh, Satan, there's a point there or something, man, I think, what Robbie's saying. Yeah, because basically all I was saying. Yeah. Basically, like if I'm telling my kids, hey, believe in Santa or you're not, you know, uh -huh. stop believing, stop receiving. You better believe. Uh -huh. And then I say, believe in Jesus or yeah. else you're going to, you know, go to hell or whatever. But then I say, OK, this one was fake. Then it's going to interfere with me believing, OK, is the other one fake now? And I'm going to like yes. lose the faith in, in that. Well, I got a different view. First of all, uh, we we get we. uh we got we we get our faith a lot through our our parents because we first go to church with them 
Um, so I kind of agree with you. But here's my other take, that things are associated. You know, we would know through behavioralism, common sense. And, and this Santa Claus is associated with the birth of our Lord. So now yeah. the Santa Claus with the kid's mind get associated uh, with Christmas, the, the true meaning of Christmas. So I, I kind of agree with you, man. Okay? Yeah, it's just a distraction. And I don't think I don't think it's so that people worship Santa. I think, in my opinion, I think like Satan's way yeah, of don't. using him is to mess with our faith, because that's really Satan's Ooh, that's interesting. purpose is to interfere with our relationship with God. Yeah, and, and, and Satan... Isn't he? Isn't he coming back as someone cool? I mean, it's not like those pictures. Yeah, their name's Jesus... Kramavolt. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> Kramavolt. Is that like Krama? One of your Krama people or something? Yeah, you know, it's like? Satan reincarnated. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. I don't know this. <laughs> this Satan. <laughs> anyway, thanks for having me in, man. I, I, of I'm a big fan of yours. You know. That. Well, I saw Sam Hill. I'm like, I haven't talked to Sam in a while. Yeah, it's, been, it's been a couple of years, but but I first uh, I mentioned this, and I even I haven't had defending say Robbie, but the first I saw you, you were on with Lauren, and you didn't do it for you know there weren't many views, but she did a recovery stream, and you were so honest, Robbie. You, you help people on that on that man, and 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 thank you for doing that. Yeah, I was listening to you as I was falling asleep the other day, and you were talking <laughs> about me. I was it like, I'm still here. I'm just... Yeah, I heard that. No, it was comforting. So I was uh, sure. listening because I was really <laughs> sick and my husband wasn't in bed. So I was yeah. like, oh, I'm going to bed with Sam. And uh, well, no, you were like talking yeah. about people uh, will talk. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Not I respect in that way. the gay. Yeah. I respect. Yeah. But yeah, you were just like talking about the gay thing and then the God thing and all that kind of stuff, which a lot yeah. of people don't understand on here. And I don't mm. explain it to force it on people. I'm just like, dude, this is no. just my belief. You don't have to, I'm not forcing it on well, anyone. You know? Can I tell you like, like my, what, what is common, I think is in the Bible and we both, you know, we both accept our savior, but in the Bible, didn't, they weren't too cool. The gay people, were they back then? Well, uh, how yes. Do you do, and how do you no. answer that? Well, I don't really think there is an mm. answer. Like, to me, like I always say, I really do see the Bible as a cookbook. I don't see mm -hmm. it as a weapon we use against each other. And I believe our lives are our own book in a new mm -hmm. version, in a, in a Bible, because basically that's what it is, is experiences. Mm -hmm. And so I go firsthand off going straight to the source, and that's God. And the only God, because yeah. I've reached out, I'm like, God, which one are you? Who are you? Right. The only one that's ever answered to me is Yahweh and Jesus. That's nice. the only miracles prayers that have ever been answered. And that's why I go to Jesus. And uh, I think a lot of things, I think God's knowledge, it's kind of a slap in the face to say all of that knowledge is only in one tiny book when he is so much bigger yeah, than that, yeah, you know, so I there's agree. so much more to yeah. discover, but there's very interesting, um, I'll have to find it and post it in a community post, but there's a video of a woman out there and she's speaking about how the original translation of, uh, a homosexual in the Bible was actually temple prostitute. And what it was, was, you know, it was a lustful thing. It wasn't so much that they were homosexual. It was that uh -huh. they were actual temple prostitutes. And back then the temple Ooh. prostitutes were men. And, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. And there's also a really cool story uh -huh. in the Bible where, uh, this guy comes up to Christ and he says, my slave, my slave is sick. Please, please heal him. But the word he uses for that is it's his sex slave, which was a, a boy. And well, Christ things. heals him and he says, go be with him. So there's Ooh. a lot of things that can be interpreted in, in different ways. <laughs> well, uh, it's just, you know, I I like uh, this stream can hurt my, this streaming can hurt my faith because intellectually it, it, it makes me doubt. But I've just given that faith thing man and i can't believe this my opinion i can't you know the the old testament i get where maybe they're not cool gay people but the new testament for me is uh jesus uh, loving people all people N not approving of certain things but uh, but right i can't imagine him saying jesus saying yeah go out and go out and attack uh, gay people some are who are so righteous in their deeds i i just don't buy that man and and Jesus to me is good, you know. 
Yeah, I, I, Jesus is good. God is good. People are are in the flesh, and we have feelings, and we have yeah. anger. That doesn't exist with the God that I have a relationship of with, course. Christ. Of course. And so when people are like, even if I mean, there's people that will do it in a nice way, but it's still like common sense would be like right. you're being offensive. But there's right. people that do it so aggressively. Oh, sorry, that's my alarm. People that do it so aggressively and yeah. offensive that it's like do you really like if you were trying to sell me a car right now mm. i would go to a different dealership you're like trying to sell me the biggest thing possible and that's a relationship with god but you're you're scaring people away by doing that so the yeah, people but, that do that people really who talk that they that they dig uh, uh, god sometimes don't so you have to look at their actions, obviously, because it's, it's easy to say the words. Maybe Jesus even talked about some people who, who say they, they dig the Savior probably do not. So we got to be careful, right? Yeah. False prophets. And that's why I just, I've never, you know, I grew up in a, you know, non-denominational or Baptist Christian mm -hmm. house that we went to church, but me too. things weren't making no. sense to me. Um, mm -hmm. But I was, and my mom really cares about all of our faith. You know, she's our mother and she cares. Mm, of course. But to me, it was like, they would say, believe this, or, you know, you have to, uh -huh. God's coming soon. You have to believe it. You're going to hell. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, right. hold on a minute. Cause if something's not making sense and if God sees everything, then he's going to know I'm lying to him when I tell him I truly believe when I don't. So of then course. I would, I finally just went straight to God and was like, Hey, when I was like 13 after my, Uncle died what kind of a cancer. voice did he have, by the way? Did he have a voice like me? <laughs> or like well, you? It, it was more like uh, morbid. Just kidding. No, it's not. You know what I'm talking <laughs> That's about. That's the if, devil. Yeah, oh, if you have an actual. That's a false prophet or a false god. Brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him and I don't talk, but, you know, whatever. I'm not going to ask him. I, but... I used to be in his chat, Jimmer, for years. Hmm. And then we revolted when he talked to, when he talked inappropriately, those in his chat years ago, we revolted, except this scumbag hack stayed. So I've had Jimmer on my show one time too. I had a show and he came on. So I know about this Jimmer, you know? Yeah. He is funny and entertaining, but yeah. like, so back to the, the whole, like going to God, uh -huh. like it, that was just common sense to me at the time. I'm like, okay, I am scared. I'm going to go to hell. Uh, mm -hmm. here I'm like closeted gay as a 13 year old and stuff like, God, mm -hmm. are you there? Like, can you please show me? Cause I don't believe in you. Like right. basically just being completely honest with him. Cause he already well, knows. My parents that. lied to me about Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> they lied to me about you. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, after that, like God really started showing me signs and miracles. Yeah. The more I uh, leaned on him or spoke to him. And that's ever mm -hmm. since then, that's how it's always been. And then I've had people in the background no, he's not going to do that for you. I'm like, yeah, but he shows me signs. So you can go fuck yourself yeah, politely. Speak for God, man. You showed me the way. Who are exactly. you? <laughs> Jimmer? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I I'm mean, running basically... another way if it's Jimmer. I'm running to the Lord. I'm not running away from him. Um, can anyway, you, you don't have a wrench. Can somebody drop Sam's channel link? I need in it. The chat because oh, he, man, you, you, yeah, your voice and stuff, you always been entertaining to me thank you just the way you well, speak about stuff and because you just have a very um unique voice in a way of talking that's like entertaining and interesting at the same time yeah i gotta interest myself more time sometimes i hear too much of me you know but anyway <laughs> <laughs> thanks man god bless yeah thank you for coming up sure take care oh you leave oh, oh okay i gotta go anyways I got to go visit my husband before this went a little bit longer. Thank you, Chroma Vault, for showing yourself. Thank you, Andog, for showing yourself and being an adult and that you can have a conversation. I really, really appreciate that. And thank you, uh, Sam. Sam changes his channel name, so sometimes I can't find it. Hold on. It used to be Sam Hill Righteous. Sam Hill Righteous. There he is. Now it's called Sam Hill American. See, I didn't know that. So sub to Sam. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Uh, thank you, uh, Samantha B. And uh, 
Also, guys, go check out my new uh, parody. When I set it as a premiere, a lot of people were like, I didn't see it pop up. I'm not doing premieres anymore. For some reason, premieres don't pop up in the algorithm, but it is there, uh, the new parody, and I think it's the best one. It's funny. The whole thing. So here's my new parody. Go check that out. And I'm going to go. I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you, Pesky. And thank you for encouraging the piece, too. You're a good person, too. All right. So have a good day. And uh, let me just go ahead and show this just because I scrolled across this picture as I was going to my etro and just, yeah, that's just for your pleasure for today. Uh, that is me when I was in shape and I'm going now. Bye. Huh? No, no, no chance. No, no. Yeah. <laughs>